Hello, Dr. Glenn, resident vet for Vet and Pet Direct. What do you do if your dog licks a cane toad? Most dogs only mouth the cane toad, but there's enough toxin um, secreted from the little parotid glands up behind the cane toad's neck um, to create toxicity in a dog just from a single mouthing. Um, they can also have cane toad squirted into their um, eyes or up, up their nose, so any mucosal surfaces are um, absorbing the toxin. The bufotoxin, which is the toxin that the cane toad has, uh, affects both the heart, the nervous system, and the gastrointestinal system. So symptoms are quite varied, but always start with profuse drooling and salivation. Um, red gums and tacky gums, quite mucoid and mucousy are uh, a symptom. That can progress to muscle tremors, becoming seizures. Um, sometimes they get vomiting, sometimes they get diarrhea. The seizures can create excess body heat buildup and they get hypothermia, but the seizures can be bad enough that the pet can pass away from the seizure and also directly from heart failure. You can get a toxic dose in less than 15 minutes so unfortunately it is a, certainly a veterinary emergency that you need to take your pet to the vet. Before you take them to the vet you would uh, wipe their mouth out, that's the most important thing. So using a wet uh, chucks or a hand towel um, or a cloth, you can wipe both the mucosa, the gums inside the mouth, the roof of the mouth if you can get to it, the tongue, uh, rinse that cloth out multiple times and you're just trying to dislodge that toxin from the mouth. If the pet's squinting at all, you should wipe their eyes out and also wipe their nose. Um, it takes five to ten minutes to do a really good job of that. Uh, I recommend that all pets should go to emergency to your vet um, to be examined because you can't tell if the pets had a toxic dose. Obviously don't drive your car at the same time as wiping your dog's mouth out so um, best to do it at home before you leave or if you've got someone to drive the car while you're wiping the dog's mouth out that's a great idea. Please never use a shower nozzle or a hose in your dog's mouth very dangerous. It only takes a small amount of aspiration to complicate your dog's position with an aspiration pneumonia. So wet cloth um, is definitely the way to go. Most dogs' initial drive um, is just play or prey based. Um, they just see a moving object and they want to mouth it. Um, most dogs have a negative experience and sometimes that's enough to put them off going for cane toads again. But you need to be vigilant, particularly in summer months. Um, there's a number of things that you can do to try and prevent cane toad exposure, certainly um, having minimal outside lights on to um, not attract as many insects, uh, supervising your dog when they're outside, particularly at night um, for toilet breaks and that sort of thing, um, minimising habitat for cane toads to be around. Difficult to uh, cane toad proof your yard, but it can theoretically be done with mesh up to 50 centimetres high, but it's a pretty big job. I have seen a subset of dogs, unfortunately, that um, get a little bit addicted to the narcotic effect of the cane toad um, and sometimes self-medicate in relatively small doses to get a high out of it. Um, still doesn't mean that they can't get a toxic dose. So if this is your pet, um, it is a big problem and excluding them from the environment where the cane toads is, is easier said than done, but sometimes that's what needs to be done. Uh, training your pet not to go for cane toads is a long and arduous task, but you can certainly do it by rewarding them from coming away from um, cane toads if you've got cane toads in the yard. Bottom line is, if your pet has an exposure to cane toads, wipe their mouth out with a wet cloth as soon as possible and uh, proceed to your vet and emergency centre as quickly as possible. Thanks guys.